Hello viewers, welcome to the Pakasura. Today's thali is inspired by Andhra cuisine. So we have brinjal curry or wonkaya kothmira kura, rasam, pepper rasam, sambar we have mulangi or radish papucharu accompanied with yogurt, papad, gooseberry pickle, gunpowder and some hot rice with of course a dollop of ghee. So let's begin and see how to make this extremely nutritious and comforting meal. The written recipe for all these dishes are in the description box, so please check it out. Let's begin the thali with the radish papucharu. I've taken 1 tablespoon of oil on a medium flame, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 4 to 5 curry leaves, 1 red chilli, 1 cup of sliced onions, Roasting this for about a minute. 1 tablespoon of crushed garlic, roasting until the raw smell of garlic disappears. 1 cup of sliced tomatoes for the seasoning, salt, coriander powder, turmeric powder and red chilli powder. Giving all of this a good mix. Adding the radish now, cut into roundels, 2 cups of radish. Mixing the radish with the prepared masala. Now adding 1 cup of boiled tur dal, cooking all of this for about 8 to 10 minutes until the radish is completely cooked. Now adding a pinch of hing, adding some water to adjust the consistency, giving all of this a good mix. Finally, adding quarter cup of tamarind extract. Do not add this earlier as the radish will remain uncooked. Now our sambar is all ready. So let's go ahead and make the curry. Wankaya Kuthmira Kura. I've taken 1 teaspoon of oil in a medium flame, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, 2 garlic pots, quarter inch of ginger, 3 to 4 green chilies, Roasting this for a minute. Now adding handful of coriander leaves. Roasting this for about 2 to 3 minutes. Grinding all of this into a fine paste. Now in a pan on a medium flame taking 2 tablespoons of oil, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, 3 to 4 curry leaves, 1 cup of chopped onions, Roasting this for about a minute. 1 cup of chopped tomatoes. Cooking the tomatoes until mushy. For the seasoning, salt, turmeric powder, red chilli powder. Giving all of this a good mix. Now adding these sliced eggplant or brinjal, 2 cups of this. Mixing this with the gravy. Now adding the ground mixture, giving it a good mix. At this stage, if you think that the curry is too dry, add in some water and cook until the brinjal is soft. Finally adding some roasted and crushed peanuts or ground nuts. Now let's go ahead and make the pepper rasam. Taking 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon of pepper, 4 to 5 garlic cloves. Crushing all of this into a coarse paste. In a pan, 1 tablespoon of oil, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, green chilli slit, curry leaves. Adding in the crushed mixture. 1 cup of chopped tomatoes, cooking until the tomatoes get mushy. Adding 3 cups of water. Once the rasam comes to a boil, adding a teaspoon of rasam powder. Half a cup of tamarind extract. Finally, garnishing with coriander leaves. If you like this meal, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.